What is going on guys? Michael from gprisers.com back again in our mining bunker. And in today's video, I kind of just wanted to catch up with you guys. I haven't done a vlog style video in quite some time. So I thought I'd make a little video and update you guys on what is going on in the gprisers.com mining bunker. So as you can see right here, we do have some 6600 XTs. Uh, we do have uh, five more of them in the back on the AMD holding ring that we have. And so we do uh, have nine 6600s uh, non XTs right here. We do need to fill that out, get three more. Um, our AMD holding rig did have a couple of them on there. We got some more in, so we went ahead and got a 12 card setup going for these. And that is kind of what's happening right now with the 6600 XTs. Uh, we, like I said, we have five of them back there, and we have uh, four of them that currently need to get up and running. So for this rig build, we are using a 1300 watt EVGA uh, platinum rated power supply. I got two of these from the EVGA website. I tried to get more, uh, but they do limit it. I think you can only get two uh, per month, I think is something around that. I'm not completely sure, but I do uh, alternate between the 1300 and the 1600. But that really is what's going on here in the mining bunker. We have not really been expanding all too much. Um, we do have in the back a uh, RTX 3080 full hash rate build. And that one we've had for quite a while now. Uh, you guys did see the video of me uh, switching over from the old white frame that we spray painted onto a new one. So that is up and running. We did swap the thermal pads on those and those are running great. But we are having uh, some heat issues again with these 3090s. As you can see right here, uh, one of the cards that I did repad, the card just kind of gave out um, after a while. Um, it looks like it wants to get going, but it just uh, eventually stopped. Actually, now that I didn't flick that on, it looks like it's going now. Uh, I, I literally, I've tried that for days and <laughs> never had success, but uh, maybe it's just good luck filming. So uh, there is one other card here that's thermal throttling. Um, you can see on the back here, um, if you notice, um, you know, if you look down there, for instance, you see white, uh, white there. Those are the GPRisers.com thermal pads. And up here are the black stock ones. I just got a little bit lazy. These were never really thermal throttling. So, um, you know, they were the kind of the, on the bottom of the totem pole of cards to repad. But we have been repadding uh, tons of RTX 3070 Ti's. I still need to uh, repad these three, uh, these two. And we also have 12 RTX 3070 Ti's in the back of the bunker that are mining. And those, I think there's five Zotacs that I need to switch out. And of course we do have the RTX 3090's here. Uh, these have not been repadded um, either. So I really have about five 3090's that I need to repad and about one, two, three, four, five, uh, RTX 3070 Ti's that need to be repadded. And of course the ones in the back, I'm not too focused on that right now. But the reason for um, not really expanding right now are uh, really two. One is power and the second is uh, the air conditioning system that I have in here. Now it is pretty cool in here right now. Um, the AC is running a majority of the time. It is a very high powered AC unit and I am having some AC guys come out to take a look. So those guys will be out uh, to work on the AC. I think you can see right here we have um, AC coming out and then up there we have the intake and we have another um, AC venting out and it's kind of just a bad layout. Um, we do have um, drops here that are coming down. However, I think I'm going to have something kind of built out for on top of here. Uh, but the same direction that the AC is coming out, the AC is going right back in there and it just, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And when this was kind of getting like built out and everything like that, um, when I tried to explain what I was doing and everything like that, the guys just had no idea. But I do have an AC guy that actually uh, has worked with other crypto miners. Um, they're gonna come out and they're gonna let me know what they can do. But like I said, I can actually fit a couple more in here and be fine. I'm just trying to future-proof it. And speaking of future-proof, um, we do have two more PDUs. Uh, one's going here, one's going there. They should be in tomorrow. And I, of course, need to get two more uh, 30 amps wired. 
um, in here, but that is all coming soon. And so we do have a couple um, rigs at a different mining location that we do eventually want to bring over here. So I know a lot of you guys watching are uh, residential miners. And, you know, I started off as a residential miner and I actually got penalized when I hit a specific uh, threshold of power. You know, if you go over, you know, X amount, then all of a sudden your kilowatt hour rate goes up. However, where I am located, which is in South Florida, we have Florida Power and Light. And I've actually spoken with Florida Power and Light. And if you talk to their uh, business team, they can actually route you in the right direction. And there's a group of about five guys that work there that actually work with crypto miners. And when I say work with crypto miners, it's because this is a little unusual to be drawing so much constant power at it, you know, at a rate so high at all times. You know, a lot of businesses will have, you know, high rates of usage for manufacturing, you know, but it's from nine to five and then it shuts off. Whereas crypto mining, as you guys know, um, this is 24 seven. So with FPNL, the rate here, the commercial rate, um, is about, I want to say 10 and a half to 11 cents, which that rate is really good compared to the rest of the country. However, if you can get it cheaper, of course, that is going to be something to look into. And so I did look into it and I spoke with FPNL, which again stands for Florida Power and Light. It's our utility company here for electricity. And they told me if I hit over 25 kilowatts, which uh, for reference, each one of these PDUs can kind of max at around 5.4. So 25 would be about five of these. Um, a little bit more, but if you hit that for you know a couple of hours, it actually switches your whole business from a non-demand business to a demand business. So a non-demand business uses uh, less than 25 kilowatts and a demand business uses more than 25 kilowatts. So I recently just hit over that mark, which means my business here and my business account with the uh, utility company was now switched to a on-demand business. Or not on-demand, but a demand business. And that drops my electric rate from about 11 and a half to around eight cents a kilowatt, which that makes a huge difference uh, when it comes to crypto mining, especially kind of in bear market. You know, everyone's saying, oh, it's a crypto mining bear market um, right now. You know, I know prices are down and everything like that, but you know, a lot of the time that I've been mining, you know, it, there was a stretch that was over a year long where you're kind of just like battling electrical costs. And that was me battling electrical costs in, in a residential area where my electric rate was about 13 cents a kilowatt. But these cards are still far, far away from being unprofitable with an electricity rate that I have here. But you know, if you're running in an area where the electrical rate is, you know, 30 cents, there are some places in the states that have that, then these, uh, you know, lower market conditions really affect you a lot more. But before I moved in here, I knew I had to hit that 25 kilowatt um, you know, power usage in order to, you know, be able to take advantage of the demand business rates. And so we're happy here at the bunker that we got that. And that is why we are going to be getting two more PDUs hooked up here. As I said before, just need to get the uh, electrician out here to do it. But that said, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update and, um, you know, hopefully some useful information. You know, if you have a large amount of, of graphics cards running and you're using a lot of power, I would definitely check out and, and even call your utility companies to see if you could take advantage of better rates. But that is going to be it for this, guys. I am going to go ahead and get this 6600 XT rig finished. I did get this nifty little tool. Um, a good buddy of mine is a an engineer and you know he was over here in the bunker the other day we're actually working on some really cool projects and products for you guys but he saw me putting together one of these rigs and I was using a, a regular drill you know the uh, the standard big one and you know he just saw me trying to get inside there to put in the uh, you know the motherboard screws and everything it was just kind of a huge pain it's bulky and so he had one of these on hand and so I ended up getting one uh, this one's by DeWalt but I think other uh, companies make them but it's a screwdriver that's kind of like a gyroscope where you could press the button on the back and kind of tilt it that way or tilt it that way so it's like and the slower that you go the slower it is and it can speed up um, this thing has just been amazing uh, building frames with it. I, I'm sad to say that this is the first frame that I built with it and I did all of those the other way, but um, I am glad I got that tool. I will drop a link down below for this. I think that they're back ordered. I went to like two or three Home Depots and a Lowe's. They didn't have them, so I just ordered it on Amazon and I waited, but it is well worth it. Um, I am definitely going to be using this for projects around my house. But other than that, guys, um, I think that's everything. Uh, 
I, I am going to actually be doing the studio right here. I know I mentioned in one of the other videos that I was going to do it in the front, um, but you know, because it's kind of loud in here and you, you can probably hear it with this mic. Maybe it gets better as I go over there, but the mic that I'm using is just a really bad mic. So um, I saw a couple other YouTubers, they use these Rode mics. Um, I think I'm going to grab one of those because they're near machines like this and um, you don't really hear the feedback from. So I think that that's going to be uh, the route that I go. But I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, as we've said in our other videos, we do have a Discord now. We almost have 500 members in there and we have two dedicated Discord mods that are there to help you guys out if you need anything or if you have an order with us and you have issues with your order, you can create a ticket right on Discord and we'll have our support staff reach out to you right away. But on our Discord, we also are hosting giveaways. It is much easier to host the giveaway on Discord than it is here on YouTube. So once you join it, you can hit the giveaway tab and you'll see ongoing giveaways. Uh, pretty much at any given time, we have a giveaway going on. It's free to enter. All you have to do is just react to the message with an emoji and it will automatically randomize a winner at the end of the giveaway period. And we will be doing giveaways for um, the US, Canada, the UK and the EU. We are splitting the giveaways so we will notify on the giveaway if it's just for the UK or EU or if it's just for the USA and Canada. So other than that guys, I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day and we'll see you guys next time.